Hey guys, I'm gonna take you through a day in our homeschool. This is a video I've wanted to do since the beginning of the year, but I'm actually glad I'm doing it now because things have just morphed and changed so much from all my grand ideas at the beginning to what we're actually doing. This is a pretty typical day. I wish I could say I've worked out, we're all dressed, all the things, but that's just not the case. Like this year, that's been probably the hardest thing is um, I feel like I've kind of like let go as like a workout routine for me. So I that's something I wanna try to build back in for next year. Um, but it's just been tricky because my kids, Reese likes to get up at 7 a.m. and um, start on her start on her school. And so um, we kind of have an early start and it doesn't leave a lot of room for workout. I'll just get into it and we'll show you kind of what a typical day at the Hilton household looks like for homeschool. And we're doing a fifth grader and a third grader and a preschooler. Okay, so this calendar we got from Treasures by Jennifer from Etsy, and we use this every day. So once they do their scripture study, they, well, Reese will put it up here. And then once Nixon does it, he takes it down and puts it like this. So we know that the scripture study is done. And then the, they usually go with math and then language arts, PE, Poetry tea time, we generally do once a week. And once that's done, we flip this over to science and we'll show you what we do for science. And then they do their, Reese has a My Tech High class and Nixon has a robotics that he does, which I'll show you. And then um, once that's done, they just do that once a week, then that's off the calendar. Once they do science once a week, that's off the calendar. And then we do history every day and read every day. What's the first thing you do? Math. Math. The first half of the year, what was the first thing that you were doing? Scriptures, scriptures. right? Yeah. Scriptures and journaling. But then you switched to before bed. Doing that at before bedtime. Okay, so the, when you the first thing you do when you wake up as far as school is math. math. Mm -hmm. Nixon usually. What time do you start your school day? Eight thirty. What's the first thing that you do? Scriptures. That you yeah, I copy a verse. Copy a verse that you like, and then you dive right into your language arts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. page of handwriting. A page of handwriting. Can you show us what that looks like? Yeah. That looks... Here, wait, just stop. I want to just look at your handwriting. Look how good that is. That is amazing. And you're working a little bit on cursive. And then this is the one. This is the one. That is beautiful. After handwriting, what do you do? I do a lesson in typing. A typing lesson? Okay. Yeah. And, and that's I, good and beautiful. Yeah. Then I write a vocabulary word definition. Ooh, let's do that. They read these challenge words, and then they look up the definition for each and write it one definition every day down. So go ahead. Me? Yeah. Fatigue, intrigue, intriguing. Vague, big, intrigue, intriguing, vague, dialogue. I memorized a poem for five minutes. Well, you, okay, so do you memorize these parts of the speech? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. will you recite the, Nixon, do the noun. What one? Do the nouns. I am a noun. I am a noun. I give names to things from Britons, from beggars to royal kings. Then they go over their glossary terms. There's the um, description and then some examples. Okay, so this is Nixon's. He does memorizes his glossary terms and then a page of handwriting. Sorry, my hands are so dirty from gardening. Um, typing, he does his vocabulary definition, definition and then reads those tricky words. And then we've done this off and on, but we do, we, we do poetry tea time probably never right now. But we were doing pretty good like a few months ago. We were like once a week. And we did it, yeah, a few weeks ago. Can we do poetry yeah. tea time today? That'd be fun. Because you guys love poetry tea time, don't you? Yeah. 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 For PE, it just changes every day. So. Here's our board. This is our value. This is usually where we have the book club. We are The girls are in a book club, and we have the book club book written up there. Um, they've done... What books have you done this year? Um, Little Women, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and Tuck of Everlasting. Yeah. 
A lot of times I will have a beautiful painting up here. Scripture that we're reading is, this. Is, I usually have them up here and then just maybe a quote or something. And then anything that we like need to remember to do. Reese has written her, she's doing Chinese and so she's written the numbers and how to say them down there. Every day I do a lingo and I'm learning Chinese. Well, I know like one through six in Chinese. Yi, ar, san, chi, wa, lu. And then I know how to say hello, ni hao. And um, horse is also ma. And um, how are you is, is ni him gashing. And yeah. Prue <laughs> is working on his sounds and letters. So that's, those are, that's what's right there. This room is kind of our, I don't know, we play games here, we craft here, we do a lot of, we're growing our pea plants here. Um, we spend a lot of time in this room. Reese does piano. This gets used a ton. <laughs> and the babies, do we do a lesson every day? Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun. We'll talk about what we do every day. All right. So what are you, what subject are you doing right now, Nixon? <laughs> math. Okay, so for math, Nixon is doing his times tables and he's doing strategy games, right? So what are some of your favorite math games that you're doing? Um, proof. Proof. Shut the box. This is shut the box if you've never seen this. It's really a fun little game. Sudoku. Yeah, the colored Sudoku. It's kind of interesting to note because I feel like every day is so different. But like today, Reese is making these little cards for crew because he's learning his letters and sounds and names for the letters. And so she's just making these little flashcards for crew, which is so sweet. But I feel like that's like every day. There's something different and it's... No two days look the same. Nixon gets the Kiwi crate and you get the Tinker crate. Okay, what do you love or not like about it or tell me about it? Um, well, I really just, I just love doing it, but some of them are kind of hard to do. But the thing that solves that problem is they have a video for most of them. The video really helps, but some of them are easier and so the instructions are easier to read. But. Okay, so what are some things that you have made this year? Oh, pendulum? Pendulum, yeah. Okay. A crane and an arcade game. Okay. Where you launched, I made a launch and you launched the ball into the... Circle. And you made a spin art machine. Yes. Let's yeah. see. And in the booklet, it has other activities. So one box for us lasted us all month because it has a bunch of different fun ideas to do for just in that one box that has to do with the concept that they're learning about so nixon made one month like a solar oven because that was an idea in the box um and then we did like a science fair so in all reality one thing that kind of <laughs> goes by the wayside when we're homeschooling every day is the house i definitely do not keep up on having this perfectly clean house. And so, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to like walk you through our hot mess right now. But I say hot mess, but it's just like, to me, it just, I love that there's like learning going on. So we were like talking about like what we're gonna be planting. There's always some sort of food out. We've got slime everywhere, always dishes, always dishes. Um, but then like, you know, they're playing with their like little catapults and their bow and arrows and, you know, there's usually a game on the floor. And so, yes, it's definitely a hot mess. But at the same time, we're just kind of like learning and growing. And and it's it's a beautiful hot mess. <laughs> so this is my robotic. So this is what do you do for technology, right? Okay, and he wanted to take a robotics class. And I was really nervous because I don't know very much about robotics. And But this <laughs> said three plus. So I thought, okay, surely we can do this. So it's really been like a really basic introductory to robotics, but it's been, it's been fun to learn about it. This is more his age and it's been really, really fun. 
to build and learn about electricity and um have you which one have you enjoyed more or have you enjoyed both of them probably this one have you Is that, buddy? Hey, what is that? That's so cool. It's a fan. What? Spinning around and make colors everywhere. Okay, now for history, we go to, oh, do you have a, do you want a band-aid? It didn't hurt. Can That's we get a band-aid for you? No. It actually didn't hurt. You're a tough kid. All right, so for history, we go to a well-educated heart. This is totally free for everyone. It's really, truly amazing. Um, you go under audios, and you go to My American Storybook. And you go to whatever month you're on. Okay, so we have the Well-Educated Heart send us all the pictures for that whole month. So this or today we're doing Davy Crockett. So we've got two pictures of him. So we just cut out those two and Reese and Nixon each choose one. And then they listen to this story. And today it's 10 minutes and 55 seconds. Okay. This is how many books do you, have you done filled out? Is this your uh, second book? This is my third. Book. Your third book that you've yeah. filled up. Mm, oh, they're so pretty. Look, she like this one we just listen to. So. Okay, so she'll like sometimes draw pictures, but she always like writes. This one so has so many things in it. Yeah, Nixon, can you show us yours too? One. So this is the very beginning. This is we started with Marco Polo. Yep. And it's kind of fun to look at the beginning because Nixon was not into writing, but he would listen to it and maybe write their name on it. But then as the days... Sorry, I read that and then I wrote this. Picture. But as the days and the months went on, he you can slowly well, this see... This still would have been days. Yeah, this was days. But So flip to like a few months back. So, so you're, you've and done three books then too? Um, yeah, and then this one, that one, I didn't, he wasn't very interesting yeah. <laughs> That's okay. to me. Okay. And Molly Ooh. Pitcher, I didn't do very well. Tempe Wicks? What yeah, Tempe Wicks. Tempe Wicks. That I was a fun. Here, oh yeah, I didn't want this one. Nathaniel Green, it was sad, but it was. It was really good. Oh, and I love Sacagawea. And Lewis and Clark Expedition. Okay. I, I read. I think I read that. You read some extra books on that one because you loved that. Yeah, I did. I read it like twice. And you even made a wiggle on, huh? Yeah. Um, there were the Columbus ones, and then we read that book. Ew. Yes. To be made president. But the people who voted for him in the first place were friends of General Jackson, and they would not elect anyone who was against him. As far as crew and L go, we do a little lesson every day. Crew is four, L is two, and so we do our days of the week song. Monday, 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 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We do our months of the year song. April, May, June, July. We count. We memorize a value paragraph every month. I'm the one that recommended. I the guy the person I'll be. So go to the box and let them know if they're the best to me. Good job. We read a value story 
every week. And we read that same story every single day for five days. So it really solidifies that story in their minds and it's something that crew can recite. He, I help him draw the picture of the story and he paints. Uh, this isn't really, this is the one with And the dike? It's a hole in the dike. Why do they, why do they not want this hole to get out? Because remember, there's a ton of water right here, and if it no. comes through here, it'll flood their whole village. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Go get her. Um, what's your name? Jack. Henry. Jack, go get. I took my finger in here. Are you ducking your finger in here? I need a Jack. Go get her. Are you playing? Oh, well, I won't. So is working on his letters and his sounds and how we're doing that is kind of fun i show him an a and then i draw the a and then i say let's attach a picture to the letter a what picture do you want to attach and i give him some ideas and so he picked apple for a and so we say apple a ah apple and then i have him close his eyes and I have him say A, and then draw the A, say A, ah, apple. And I don't know why, but that has like stuck so well with him. So he knows half of his letters and sounds. Up, down, across. Okay, what picture goes with A? Apple. And what sound goes with A? A. Ah. Good. Okay, close your eyes and write a U. Good. Now close your eyes. What picture goes with you? Umbrella. Umbrella. And what sound goes with you? Good. What picture goes with P? No, not P. What? <laughs> okay, what picture goes with P? <laughs> Other things that we've done for Reese and Nixon, um, once a month we get together with a another family and we have a what we call a well-educated heart party and um, we just talk about and really bring to life the things that we've been studying in history. It usually has food, maybe a guest speaker, a craft, and um, just kind of try to bring to life that month's topic. Once a month get together with another family and this actually has been super helpful for me and my kids actually because um they do a show and tell once a month and they bring out all the things that they've worked on and they recite maybe a poem that they've been working on or play a piano piece that they've been working on or anything from that month that they um, worked really hard on. Really good for me because I can just kind of see, okay, what are the holes that we need to fill in for like the next month? Nice, buddy. Perfect. Okay, now take your tomato plant. Yep. Nice, buddy. Perfect. Okay, now take your tomato plant. Yep. 